Shalom. Welcome. I haven't seen you for such a long time. So, today we're going to talk about names that you have in your languages for sure, in many languages, not only English, that contain God's name or the Lord's name. And let's start right ahead. Maybe your name is just here in my slides. Yes? Let's start immediately. So, in order for us to see names that contain the Lord's name or God's name, God's name, let's see what, how would we refer to the Lord or God in Hebrew. So, first, you're going to see three variants. One is the Tetragrammaton, Adonai. If you wonder why I read it Adonai, look at my other videos. Right now, I just want to tell you, Jewish, normally Jewish people would read this word as Adonai. And also the contract, contracted forms, the Ya or the other one. So you have three variants of the Lord's name. So that's the proper name of the God of Israel. Another one would be Elohim or El, which are simply God. And another one would be Father, which is in Hebrew Av. You know, because He's our Father, regardless of uh, if we are Jews or Christian, the Lord is our Father. So, now let's meet this young man. And his name is Yehonatan. So, all of you know Yehonatan. You know, it's simply in English, it's Jonathan, Yehonatan. Now, how do we create this name? We are taking the, an element from the Lord's name. Let's take it in a second. And we combine it with the verb. Let's see what's going to happen. This is the Lord's name, Adonai. And the second word is gave. What did we get? Together, the Lord. And he has given. And it makes a beautiful phrase. The Lord has given. Think about giving your child such a name. It's a present. The Lord has given. Huh? Before we check some other very interesting names, have you ever wondered how to write your name in Hebrew? Ah, I want to tell you that our theme this month on eTeacher is Hebrew names. Right, yes. You will find a playlist with more videos about Hebrew names in our Biblical Hebrew YouTube channel and very, very interesting posts about Hebrew names in our Facebook page. And only, but only until the end of this month, if you join one of our modern or biblical Hebrew live video conference courses, you will receive a wonderful gift, a silver necklace with your name in Hebrew. So, if you want to learn more about our live courses and this special gift, just click this link or the link below this video anytime. And now, let's see some other interesting names. Again, you can clearly see the Lord's name. This is Joshua. And what did you do this time? Again, we are taking an element from the Lord's name. And we are taking the idea of salvation, deliverance. We don't take the whole word to place it. We just take those two letters from the root. So we're taking the shin and we're taking the ein. And together it's going to be the Lord is salvation. Now, if you look closely at the root, does it look like something you know? The root of deliverance, salvation? Sure, I'm sure you've said the right answer. Let's see it in the next page. So, again, I'm taking Joshua because it was derived from this word, from this word name. And you have Yeshua. And who is Yeshua? That's it. Jesus, it means deliverance salvation and another shin and another ein was ta were taken from the root of 
ישוע או ישר, which means deliverance. So we saw until now names with euphoric elements at the beginning. The Lord is salvation, but now let's see, can you find the theophoric element? Is it again at the beginning? No, just joking, of course, you know. So this time it is at the end. Those are two prophets. One of them is Yirmeyahu, which is simply Jeremiah. And what did we do? We are taking again the Lord's name. We are putting it at the end this time. And it would mean the Lord exalts. Exalts. The room is a root for exalting, for being high. The second now, the second name is Yeshayahu, which simply is Isaiah. And again, we're taking the Lord's name and it's at the end. And do you see the root? That's it. That's again the salvation root, the deliverance. So salvation of the Lord. Let's see some more. Here we have the word Ariel. And I'm already showing you the word Elohim. Because you're going to know what will happen here in a second. So we are taking El. And we are gluing it at the end. And what is El if not God? And also we are taking Ari, which is a lion or a lioness. And together it's going to be Ariel, which is another name for Jerusalem. So lioness of God. Lioness of God would be Ariel. And very similar is another name, Daniel. Daniel, you say it in many languages, you have this name. Again, what did we do this time? We are taking the L, we are gluing it at the end, and the first part is beautiful. It means judge. And this Yod in between them is the pronoun I. So it's fantastic, because what do we have here? We have Daniel all together. My judge is God. And Hebrew likes to do such a, a construction. Let's see some more. This time we have the word Adonai on the right hand side, and we have Av, Father, on the left hand side. So the Lord and Father. Let's see what do we have. We have the name Yoav. Yoav, and this time we're not taking the Yeho incomplete, we're just taking the Yod and the Vav, and we are gluing it like that at the beginning, it's going to be Yo, and we're gluing it to the word Av. It will mean the Lord is a father, of course, and another name would be very similar, this time Av, Father, and Elohim. Av, Father, at the beginning, and El, from Elohim. And again, the Yod is pronoun I. Let's glue it here. We will have my Father is God. And that's going to be Aviel. Beautiful, beautiful name, Aviel. Mm, very nice. My, that's the E. And another name is Eliav, which is very similar. You will do it yourself now. You will tell me. Yes, Elohim and Av. El at the beginning. Av at the end. My. In the cent at the center, and then you'll get, my God is a father, right? And the very last, finally, we have a woman. I think you already know this picture, but we have 
her name both in Old Testament and both in New Testament. So this name is Elisheva. Let's see what are the parts here. You have Elohim and you have Sheva. Let's see what's we're going, what we're going to have. Again, El, God, Sheva means in Hebrew, oath, amongst other things, would mean an oath. And in the center, you have again the pronoun. So, my, my God is an oath, right? And her name in the New Testament is Elizabeth. And also you know her as Elizabeth. So look how those names are transliterated from the Hebrew. So, I hope you liked it. If you did, show me. If not, tell me, teach me. And we would really want you to join our family. We want to send you this beautiful necklace. So, don't forget to click below. You'll get all the details. And I'm waiting for you.